The fundamental premise with connecting security to the business is that it is not a technical problem. It will never be a technical problem, and in fact the technical issues surrounding security are minuscule compared to um, the real issue, which is making sure that we view security as a dimension of quality in all of the products and services that an organization delivers. First and foremost, you have to understand the business, meaning whatever industry you're in, financial services, whether you're in the government, you have to understand what the business mission is. And based out of that, try to align uh, what priority should be given to the different categories of information security, activities, objectives, goals, and, and plans. Yeah, one of the things that has been a big shift, I think, for a lot of CISOs is that rather than having conversations about IT funding, they're now involved in business funding discussions. And it's uh, trade-offs at the business level. Should I invest in you know, a new service, or should I invest in a marketing campaign, or should I be investing in you know, some of the aspects of my security program. And that's uh, it's a different kind of conversation, and a lot of CISOs find that they're not really well prepared to be able to sit at the table and have those discussions and get what they want. The transition from being a technical person into being a risk manager CISO is an interesting one because most of the folks that have ended up doing information security have started out as, as technical folks in network engineering or system administration and they have to gain the experience and understanding of how the business works, the business language. Maybe you go back to school, maybe you get an MBA, so you have a technical computer science or IT management degree along with a master's in business administration. One of the things I've seen be uh, very effective is to engage with someone who's kind of already in that role. So um, I think CFOs and chief legal uh, counsel can often be very helpful because they understand the language of controls and risk from an overall business perspective and they can help you understand how to map some of the tactical activities of security back into something that the business understands. The big job of the, of the CISO is to be able to translate back and forth from talking the C-suite language to talking the, the technology language both up the chain and down the chain. They need to articulate to finance people the cost in financial terms of a failure of security or you know, a breach of confidentiality, a loss of availability. Uh, to the salespeople, you need to articulate that if we go down, if we have these breaches, you'll have a much more difficult time selling to our, our prospective clients. And one of the challenges a lot of organizations have now is that they're being challenged to secure all this information with either flat or declining budgets. And for that, you can't just brute force it. You've got to be more insightful and more intelligent about how you approach this. And that's why I think enterprise security intelligence is really going to be a, a huge um, benefit to a lot of organizations. And I see a lot of investment in that area.